enforcing strict COVID protocol in Dimahasa. Good morning and warm welcome to Kirby Online Live Morning News. I'm Jirbon Kilimpi, bringing you the latest news for this morning. And now the news in detail. The Mahasao police are continuing their efforts to curb the more possible spread of COVID virus in the district by strictly enforcing the government's SOP in urban areas. In view of the rapid increase of COVID-19 positive cases in the district and in pursuance of government's order, with regard to plying of private or personal vehicles have been made from 5 a.m. to 2 p.m. with effect from May 13, 2021 in the Mahasao district until further order. As per the order from the administration, vehicles registration number ending with odd numbers will be allowed to apply on odd dates, while vehicles with even number ending will be allowed to apply on even dates only. However, this restriction will not be applicable in respect of government vehicles, water tankers, milk carrying vans, ambulances, LPG distribution vans, vehicles hired, private use for medical duty, COVID-19 duty on production of valid ID proof, and personal vehicles used for medical emergency. On Friday, the second day of order become affected as people are less aware about new orders. The police team led by Haflong Police Station OC Pawan Gayan, along with TSID Jyoti Sharma and Haflong Traffic Branch in Church, SI Moti Basumatari, monitoring the implementation of the order in the town and are also assisting the civilians about the new guidelines. Most of the auto drivers were following the old even formula with limited numbers of passengers as directed but several private vehicles were still seen flying on the road without adhering to the old event formula. Earlier on Thursday, Dimahasao SP, Giant Singh accompanied by additional SP, Indranil Barwa, went out in the town area and created awareness among the public on the new guidelines issued by the government. Speaking to media persons, SP Singh said that the violators will be penalized with fines and stringent actions will also be taken action against taxi drivers and merchants if found to be taking undue advantage of the situation by charging excessive charges from the public. Suraj Barman's report from Half Long for Carbiano Live. In a sad news coming from Delhi, one woman had lost her life to COVID-19. She passed away early on Friday morning at 5.30 a.m. This is the first COVID death to come out from Dila area. The deceased woman has been identified as 57 years old Kache Teronpi of Rongtabor, Dila. On receiving the news of her death, local Dila police team reached out to the family to take necessary actions. Meanwhile, Dila state dispensary's Dr. Jirjar Pura told media persons that the deceased was tested COVID-19 positive on May 10. She was then referred to Dipu Medical College for further treatment. However, due to unknown reason, she was kept at home without any proper treatment, which unfortunately resulted in her death on Friday. This incident has raised fears among the locals. Several people have even suggested that the family members as well as neighbors of the deceased woman to take go for COVID tests as soon as possible to avoid any danger of the spread of the virus in the area. Testing is also needed, as according to Dr. Jirjar, only about 10% of the population of Delhi had been able to be vaccinated. The death is an alarm for the people in the rural areas of Karbianglong, who may be still thinking that virus do not pose much dangers to them due to remoteness of the village. 
People must now understand and realize that vaccination and precautions is the only measures that can keep them safe. Bijoy Rong Peace Report from Dilai for Carbian Online. In a news coming in from Pelangpi, Jiribasa SGB Kobilal Inti has alleged that West Karbianglong District Committee President Sarte Kramsa's younger brother, Bronson Kramsa, had attacked him on Thursday on land border issue. According to the Jiribasa SGB, the alleged incident took place on Thursday evening after he dug out land belonging to him and was brought to fill up the paddy, which shares borders with the alleged attacker to construct road with the help of an excavator. The SGB said that Bronson Kramsa prevented the work on seeing the work being carried out in the paddy field, charging that he ought to have been consulted with him before carrying out any work as the plot shares border with his land. On being prevented, the SGB told him that no one should have any objection to what he does inside the land that belongs to him. Bronson Kramsa hit him with shoes in the argument that ensued. <laughs> কবিলালিনকিৰ <laughs> ভাল পোৱা নাই গতিকে তো সমাজৰ কাৰণে খুব নহয় সমাজৰ কাৰণে অতি খনি হানিকাৰক বুলি আমি ভাবো ফলোইং দিস দা এসজিবি টোল কারবিয়ান অন লাইফ দ্যাট এন এফআইআর ওয়াজ লোচ এগেইনস্ট ক্রামসাই এট দা লোকাল মাইলু পুলিশ স্টেশন অন রিসিভিং দা কমপ্লেইন দা পুলিশ রিচ দা স্পট এন্ড টোল দা এসজিবি দ্যাট ফারদার অ্যাকশন অন দা ম্যাটার উড বি টেকেন অনলি আফটার ভেরিফাইং দা ল্যান্ড বাই অফিশিয়ালস অফ দা রেভিনিউ ডিপার্টমেন্ট খেতি পথারত মানে ডি সি বি লেন্ড রিক্লেমেশন করবলে যাওতে এটা মানে ওয়েস্ট কার্বিয়ংলং কংগ্রেস ডিস্ট্রিক্ট প্রেসিডেন্ট সার্থী কামসা ভাই ককাই ভটিয়া সকলে মানে যেটা মাতি লেন্ড রিক্লেমেশন করে আসো তেতিয়া মোক আহি আক্রমণ করে মোক এটেক করেছে কারণ তো হল মানে এই সীমার ওসর মাতি কাটিছে বলে সেই লো পেলায় তাদের দাবি তো সীমার ওসর মাতি কাটিছে এটা ম কাটিছিল মূর নিজের মাতি মূর নিজের মাতিতে লেন্ড রিক্লেমেশন করেছে সিঁতর মাতি তো আমি টাচ করাই নাই নিজের মাতিতে করেছো তো সেই করার সত্তেও মোক এটেক করেছে আক্রমণ মোক এটেক করার মূর মিসেসকও এটে করেছে কারণ মোক এটেক করার লগে মূর মিসেসে মোক ডিফেন্স দিছে সেভ করবেন বিচার এই সেভ করাত মানে মূর মিসেসকও আক্রমণ করলে আমার মাতি তো হেরি সমান মানে ফিল আপ করেছে আর লেন্ড রিকমেশন সীমার কথা লো ছাত্রী কামসা ওয়েস্ট কার্বিয়ংলং প্রেসিডেন্ট কংগ্রেস প্রেসিডেন্ট ভাই বরঞ্চন ক্রামসা আর ভতিজা লড়াবিল মানে বাধা দিছে কোনো আলোচনা নক গপকে মানে নিজের ভরির চেন্ডেল পাত খুলি মানে মূর হাজবেন্ডক মারিছে চেন্ডেল চেন্ডেল পাত খুলে তারপর মানে ডিফেন্স দিবল মানে ঠেলি দিছ ঠেলি দিয়া হয় হয় পথারত হয়েছে পথারত হয়েছে যত মানে জি সি বি কাম চলি আছে তাদের হয়েছে মোহন টেরস রিপোর্ট ফ্রম ফেলাং পি ফর কার্বি এন লাইফ In a horrifying road accident, a biker was killed on a spot inside Puloni area, falling under the Uttar Borbil police station on Friday afternoon. According to locals, the horrific accident took place at around 3.30 p.m. when two youths on a speeding bike collided with an Alto car, killing one on the spot and seriously injuring another. The youth killed on the spot was identified as 26 years old Raithai Basumatari and the injured was identified as 18-year-old youth Ajoy Narzari. On the other hand, passengers of the car luckily escaped serious injuries due to airbag, but the body of the car suffered heavy damage due to massive impact of the collision. Dear Chuna Rompis report from Puloni for Carbian on Life. That is all we have for today. Thank you for watching Carbian on Life and stay safe.